I, I firmly believe the, the Christian, of course, we are looking forward to the rapture, and we will not be affected by the tribulation, and we will not be affected by the mark of the beast. No Christian should be afraid of the mark of the beast. You will not be affected, you will be raptured, you will be taken home. So then those who are left behind, you are the one who did not give Jesus Christ you know, the opportunity in your heart. You are the one who will have to face the tribulation, which is the worst time in the history of the world since it was created. It is unimaginable, the destruction that is ex um, described in the book of Revelation, these 21 judgments that are there. Listen, you can't even begin to imagine how bad it will be. But I showed them some last week. It will be really, really some last week. terrible. And you don't want to be there. I mean, I don't want to be there, but um, again, uh, the, the, the one thing with this um, digital currency, um, the world is on a fast track to develop super AI. Correct. And super AI will control everything. No man could know every transaction. No man could know every single detail about people. AI has that information. It is stored in the cloud. It is stored and it will have access to every single human being on the face of last week I dealt with something called the rise of the IT crimes. I don't know if you that was the last part that I dealt with last week. Um, before Sister Marsha raised, let me just say this. We are in the month of March 2023. March of 2020. Rather you are ready or not. Rather you are a believer or not. Rather you will you will rather you believe anything or you don't believe anything. Every building was shut down. You had to wash hands. You had to wear masks. So rather you are saved or not a saved, rather you expect it coming or not coming. In one month it was implemented across the entire world. And you had to fall. And the trial run of it. Can we get every single person, no matter who you are? Again, because it's small and great, rich and poor, no matter where you are, schools, hospitals, every single thing was affected in every nation of the world. That's how serious it is. The second thing that I want to say is, is this, and this is this is my experience of looking at this uh, for 22 years and more looking at this from now. There is a possibility. This is not just the Lord, this is just Shadrach perspective. You know, Paul will sometimes say, Is the Lord? And then Paul will say, It's not the Lord, it's I. Right? And my perspective, um, where we are right now, and the wave that I see coming, there is a possibility that the technology will be implemented and available so that when the Antichrist comes on the scene, he would be able to use it for the marketing base. I can have a credit card in my hand, but I'm not worshiping the bank. You know what I'm saying? So the technology is there. Let me let me give you let me give you an example. Death by the cross was implemented before Jesus came. So that when he came, it can be utilized for the salvation of man. So the technology of cross killing was implemented long before his coming. Alright? So similarly, there is a high possibility that it can be implemented, but you still have options. But when the Antichrist comes to power, you ain't gonna have no option in terms of buying and selling and so on like that. Alright? Daniel chapter 9, verse 27 says, And he shall reconfirm the covenant of many for one week. Notice in that statement, Brother Garvin, he does write the contract. He only confirms the contract. Which means somebody will have gone before to write the contract. Which in my opinion, I still feel the Abrahamic Accord is supposed to be the closest one. So it's already there to have peace between Israel and their neighbors. But when he comes, that document will now be 